टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ग्रीडी एल्गोरिदम और ग्रीडी मेथड वी विल सी व्हाट आर द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ग्रीडी स्ट्रेटजी फॉलोड बाय कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ग्रीडी मेथड देन वी विल कंपेयर डिफरेंस एंड फाइंड आउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ग्रीडी मेथड एंड डायनामिक प्रोग्रामिंग वी विल आल्सो सी हाउ टू व्हाट आर द प्रॉब्लम्स दैट आर सॉल्व्ड यूजिंग ग्रीडी एल्गोरिदम सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद ग्रीडी एल्गोरिदम So here, it always makes a choice that looks best at the moment, as its name suggests. So greed is nothing but looking for something beneficial to us or which is related to us. So here, the choices which are looking best at that moment are selected. That's why the algorithm is called as greedy algorithm. It makes locally optimal choice. That means whatever the decision that you see. is correct at this particular moment will be taken as it is it does not always yield optimal solution as we know so if we take a decision which is correct at the moment but it is might not be the most beneficial after some point of time so for many problems they do produce optimal solution but it is not guaranteed that greedy algorithm always produces optimal solution It is quite wonderful that it works very really much well for a wide range of problems. So, for wide range of problems for which you need an optimal solution or a solution which is quite close to optimal solution, greedy method will work correctly. Elements of greedy algorithm. So, whatever the choice in greedy algorithm we make, we make our we are making these choices in a stage. So, in first stage we make choice then. the progress then we see how much problem is left again we make some kind of choice and then progress so at each time my choice should be feasible now what feasible choice means that the choice which does not violate constraints of original problem the original problems constraints must also satisfy at each subsequent step of greedy algorithm second my choice should be locally optimal at any stage if you find more than one feasible solution then we must make the best choice among them that is what an optimal solution is irrevocable the choice that we have made at some particular stage cannot be changed later on so if we have already progressed from one stage after making some choice we cannot come back to that stage and make a change in our already made choice that is what an irrevocable is so in greedy algorithm at every step my choice should be feasible locally optimal and irrevocable now what are the characteristics of greedy algorithm now we will see the generalized algorithm for greedy method any greedy method which is solving some kind of particular problem is following this algorithm strategy So greedy algorithm takes input A and A. A is nothing but variety of inputs, and N is nothing but size of input. Here we have to first make our solution as an empty solution. Currently we don't have a solution. When we are starting with first to nth item or n input, every time we are selecting some elements from given input set. So A is having n inputs. we can select any one input with the help of bd method so whatever item giving us the maximum profit or whatever root which is giving us the least number of way that can be selected depending upon our problem if our problem is to maximize some profit we will select an item which is having maximum profit if our problem is to minimize our weight then we will select an item which is having minimum so it depends completely on problem so we will select any one item whether it is maximum or minimum that is given in original problem and select that item and put inside variable x if that x is x variable or selected item is feasible with an existing solution then we will add that x into our solution that's why we will take a union of solution and x but not every time we will select an item and take its union we will first check that selected item if i add in a solution is it a feasible solution or not so feasible solution is found out then we will take its items union with existing solution 
So my solution is now previous solution and its item that is the local utility. We will check this step for each and every item. So at the end, my solution contains selection of those items that is giving us the maximum profit or the minimum weight. So this is my simplest greedy characteristic that is first make your solution empty, then select an item one by one based on greedy property. That is whether it is giving our maximum profit or the least criteria maximum criteria or minimum criteria item will be selected if that selected item is feasible with an existing solution then it will be added inside our solution set otherwise our solution won't change and this procedure is carried out for all end items that are given into input now elements of greedy strategy so first is the greedy choice property Greedy choice property says that we can assemble globally optimal solution by making locally optimal choices. For example, it says that if I take a decision which is benefited at this particular stage, it is expected that my overall decision that is taken as a final result will also give us benefit. So whenever we are considering a choice which is to make we make the choice that looks best in current problem without considering the result of sub-problem. Optimal substructure says that if an optimal solution to the problem contains within an optimal solution to sub-problem. It says that if a sub-problem is solved optimally, it is also that the original problem will be solved optimally. Next, we will say the difference between greedy programming and dynamic programming or greedy strategy and dynamic programming. Dynamic programming we know that in every problem we are making one table and at the end of table whatever the value we get is what our optimal solution. So in greedy method also the method is try to obtain the optimal solution but in dynamic programming it is guaranteed that that optimal solution will be achieved. But in greedy method, it tries near to optimal or in some cases it will find an optimal solution. Second difference between greedy and dynamic method is that greedy method makes use of feasible solutions, set of feasible solutions and try to choose or pick up the optimal solution. So greedy method will try to find 2-3 solutions and then it will check which one is the most beneficiary. While dynamic programming doesn't bring out a set of feasible solutions. It generates only one solution that is the optimal solution. Next difference between greedy method and dynamic programming is that with the, the optimal solution is generated without revising previously generated solutions. That means Optimal solution is generated based on the decisions that were we made in previous steps. These steps cannot change. These steps cannot change later on. While in dynamic programming, it considers all possible sequences of order to obtain optimal solution. So in any stage, we can make different different choices and at the end, the only solution that it generates is optimal solution. In greedy method, as I said, there is no as such guarantee that optimal solution will be generated. It might generate near to optimal solution. But in dynamic programming, it is considered and it is guaranteed that, that it is the solution is generated with the help of principle of optimality that the final solution will be the optimal solution. Which problems can be solved using greedy algorithm? So problems solved using greedy algorithms are activity selection problem, fractional aspect problem, Huffman coding, task or job sequencing and print and crucial algorithm. Prince and Kruskal's algorithms are not listed over here because they also belong to graph. So we will see those two methods of greedy algorithm that is Prince and Kruskal under graph. While all other problems like activity selection, fractional knapsack, 
upman coding and task scheduling or job sequencing will be covered inside greedy algorithm thank you everyone for watching this video this is munira topia signing out